Hello everyone, my name is Michael Schofield and welcome to another battle with Google Feud. Feud. Fud. I'm going to be fed up with this by the end of it. Now, culture. I'm all about the culture. I'm sure you are too. Let's see. Don't believe me, I voted for... Cows. Sheep. If you're Mussolini. Tigers. Better to live as a sh tiger and not a sheep. That's why I've always said. Don't believe me, I voted for. Is this America? England? UK? You'd think. Sort of demographics, you'd think probably conservative. You'd think, right? People are quite liberal in terms of uh, how confident they are these days. Younger people. No, don't blame me. I voted for. Oh, I can see that, that was pushing it, wasn't it? That was pushing it. Even by uh, PewDiePie standards of you know sort of anti-Jewish humour that people take literally. Fucking idiots. He's joking. <laughs> don't blame me. I voted for myself. I probably would vote for myself. Why wouldn't you? I think I can get more done. Kodos, her, Hillary, Kodos, shirt, Kodos, no idea, Harambe. <laughs> what is that all about? Fucking gorilla. Jack. It was Jack. I voted for Jack. Kodos, sticker, Papa, Kodos, bumper, sticker, her, mug, Hillary. I can see that one. Although I probably would blame you if you voted for Hillary Clinton. Of course I wouldn't. Vote for who you like. It means... Not a jot in the grand scheme of things. It really probably doesn't. When you die, you turn to worm food. You know what? I'm so impressed with my own answer. I'm going to fucking type it. I don't care. It should be there. It should be there. I don't care. Why wouldn't it be there? It's the truth. Go to heaven. What are the chances that you actually go to heaven? Really? If there is a heaven, why would you feel like you're going to it? I'm sure at some point you've broken the commandments or certain aspects of them or certain aspects of you know, the Old Testament, New Testament. some point you haven't adhered to what they've said. Some extremists have. Good for the extremists. Most people don't stick to them though, do they? If I die before I wake at least in heaven I can skate. Fucking 90s song or early 2000s. Ah, whatever it was. You millennials don't know what the hell that song is anyway. I'm far too old for all you people. When you die, you die? Yes! Yeah! I think it's my first ever top answer. Get in there, bitch. Boom. Die. <laughs> when you die, you dye your hair of strange colour. That's D Y E, Michael. Yeah, true. Spelling matters, kids. Spelling matters. Princess Di. Not spelled D I E, just D I. How lazy. When you die, you. I've got to put it. It's what a lot of people would think. Most of the world think is heaven, paradise. When you die, you turn in your grave. We've all heard the phrase, spinning in your grave. Oh, he, my God, he will be doing a 360 in his grave. If only he could see what the world has become. Would you? Why, if you if you fucking if you can come back, why would you be spinning in your grave? You'd come out and you haunt people. No, I'm 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 fucking I'm I'm dead, but I'm alive here. I've come back as a spirit into this world. I'm going to spin in my grave. What's up with that? When you die, you... Judging by how people are, fairly literal. We've already said die. You often get some variations of the same sort of thing in this game. I'm learning. Go to heaven or hell. I fucking said that. Why? Or hell part. Who is going to type that? Or purgatory. You go to purgatory instead. 
maybe three places. Why not just type every aspect? Or you go to paradise, or you go to the afterlife, or you go to the the nether nether regions, the nether world, whatever the hell it might be. I have no idea. When you die, you will meet God. How are you doing, God? How are you? Shame on you. You have been a bad boy. Although that sounds a bit more like Satan. But I think they might have been the same person. Call me crazy. Conspiracy. When you die, you can become a tree. Okay, when you die, you become a star. Ah, that's on the scientific thing of you. We're all stardust. We are all made of the same sort of stuff. When you break us down enough, which is probably true. I'm sure it is. I don't know the exact scientific aspects of it, but I'm sure it's true. I have no reason to disagree. We are all stars. How romantic. Die for real, like for real. Yeah, duh, you die for real, like duh. Can become a tree has now become a tree. Is this from some TV show? Am I missing something again? Would not be surprised. Some pop culture thing that I'm missing. Can I take it with you? Take what with me? Life? What am I taking with me? A wishbone? Am I taking those cows with me again? I don't want to take the cows with me. I want to eat the cows. Turn into a tree. It's definitely something. I'm missing something. When you die, there's something to do with a tree. There's some treason going on here. Are reborn, how lovely, but bullshit. I love my significant other partner, other half, better half, ball and chain, it could be anything. Americanized, get in there. See, now let's go for the English version. Yeah. Mamma mia, the Italian version. Uh, Right? Yeah. I've got ten answers here. I'm, I'm going to get some answers here. Already had two. See? Isn't that wise? I'm going to get some answers here after I've already had a couple of answers. So, I was right. That's not hindsight at all. Boyfriend. Although people sometimes do spell these things incorrectly. So, I'm just fucking cleaning up here. What else? Just run through the gamut. We're just running through them all here. It's so easy! Your husband's number one. Two thousand, whatever this, this is, points, score. More than wife. The girls are playing this. All oh, the gay people. Hi, gay people. I love my... Change tactics slightly. Could have been right. People love their pets. They fucking love their pets. And why wouldn't you? I have had dogs and cats in my life. And I love them all, especially cats. Fucking moody little bitches, you gotta love them. You know, I love anything that goes its own way, does its own thing, it's crazy. It just fucking doesn't give a shit. They're all grumpy cats. Every cat is a grumpy cat. I love my self. Would it just be self? Would that be a bit crazy? That's not gonna be there, is it? But sometimes you have to be honest about yourself. Pillow. <laughs> Sister, family, daughter, best friend. All fairly regular answers. Apart from pillow. Actually beats wife, mom, boyfriend, girlfriend and all the rest. Pillow is superior. Although, who actually doesn't love their pillow? We all do love our pillow, let's be honest. Do you have two pillows? I don't. Jerry and the pacemakers, Jerry Maguire, Jerry... Jerry Seinfeld? You'd think Seinfeld were there, yeah. In England, we don't really watch Seinfeld. He's not even on. I think you see the odd Seinfeld episode on, but we don't really watch Seinfeld. We love Friends in England, right, English people? But not really digging the Seinfeld thing. Although I'm sure he's very witty, I'm sure he's very funny. An iconic American comedian, writer, doesn't swear, mm, bit pretentious. Some of the greatest comedians of all time swear. And it's, it's it exaggerates and helps your the experience of the comedy come out. And we're adults here. We're not we're not fucking children in any way. Unless you're Jimmy Savile. We push the boundaries. It's comedy. It's having fun. It's being free. It's being comfortable. And if you have to use swearing as absolutely everything, if that's always the punchline, if you have no content with what you're doing, then that's a problem. The rest of it, it pushes it forward, it keeps the flow of what you're saying going, 
you can exaggerate well with swearing. Swearing is a great thing. Told you, Jerry Seinfeld. You know, you, if, you, you can't underestimate power of anything that exaggerates, helps in flame, gives background to some music, whatever it might be. Jerry is, how could I miss? Top answer? Could have been top answer. Got a little bit of the Jerry Springer show. You know, they could bring that back. They could have celebrity edition of that. They have celebrity editions of Jer the Jeremy Kyle show. So why not Jerry Springer, where they have some actual sets of fighting? A bit like wrestling. I love wrestling. Now I could cheat here, couldn't I? I could just I could just Google Google feud, possible Jerry's. Right, I'm sure plenty of YouTubers would do that. I'm not doing that. I don't care if I have fucking crash and ball here. Crash and ball. Crash and burn. See, now again. Should I edit that out, right? Make it all flow perfectly. I'm leaving it in. I crash and balled. I cr <laughs> I'm quite sure what a crash and ball would be. You crash into a ball, or you crash and then you turn into a ball and roll. I don't know, but I'm sort of doing that just now. Oh my god, I can't think of any Jerry. There's Tom and Jerry. So it wouldn't be Jerry and Tom, would it? Jerry Rafferty, but wasn't that with a G? Jerry and the Pacemakers was with a G. Oh my god, I cannot think of it. Isn't it Sandevsky or something? I feel like I've heard a name there. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Yeah, stop it, better. Jerry, it's Tom and Jerry. And I really can't think of anything else. Jerry. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think. I don't think that's there. Nah, Jerry uh, Rice, Jones, Lewis, Heller, Wesley, Lewis, Stiller, Garcia. Who? I have not heard of any of those. So I feel slightly better about myself. You know, you have some actual happiness when you really don't know something. If something comes up and you think you should have known it and you didn't know it, that fucking annoys you. But when you really don't know any of the thing, you're like, eh. Who knows about that anyway? Why is my girlfriend so <laughs> idiotic, so stupid with her choices, so sexy, <laughs> so good at giving head, so bad at giving head, so delightful? See, you don't know. This there are there are literally thousands of possibilities here. And even though I'm so crap at this game, I'm still trying to play it as if I'm trying to get some answers here. <laughs> Why is my girlfriend so... so on her period all the time? I mean, come on, lady. Come on now. Can't you stop yourself? What's that all about? <laughs> See, Jerry Seinfeld's version, if you just don't swear, you could say anything. It's just brilliant. Take the swear words out, edit them out fucking call for all kinds of genocides and things. Perfect. Why is my girlfriend so... Why is my girlfriend so... late? Double meaning there. Why is she so... attractive? so nagging, so, and that could be because it's a relationship dynamic there, it's not just a regular girl, but why is my girlfriend so uh, nah, it doesn't make sense why does she nag, would be the thing grammatically speaking, it wouldn't be why is she so nagging, why is she so no oh. Come on, Q. See, I said various of that. Annoying, crazy, mean to me, weird, dumb, needy, emotional, jealous, clingy. Yeah, all of those possible. I could have got a couple of those. Emotional, needy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Why is she so mean to me? Because I'm shit at Google Feud. And that is a priority of every respectable young lady. Young lady, young lady, lady. Fucking crashing and bawling here. I'm bawling and I'm crashing. Enter sound effect. God damn it. Hope you enjoy Google Feud, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls.
And remember, subscribe, bitches.